Today, we're looking at another way that you can add content into Edgar, and that's with our import tab. So this is really great if you have a blog post or a uh, blog from other people's content you like to share or a podcast or a YouTube video, this will automate getting that content as a post into your Meet Edgar library. So let's take a look at how that works. When you enter into your Meet Edgar account, you'll click the Import tab in the upper navigation menu. When you click the Import tab, that will bring you to our importer. Now you'll see right here from the Import tab that you have different tiles you're able to choose from. So this will work with a blog post, with podcasts, YouTube channels. If you have an Etsy store, you can see all of your options here. Let's look at an example from a blog post. So when I click on connect a blog, I'm going to be asked for the URL. So if I wanted to go ahead and import all of Meet Edgar's blog posts, I'll just put our URL in there and click next. This will connect the RSS feed. From here, I need to check off the accounts I'd like it to go out to, select what type of post this is, so select the category, and then I'll go ahead and have two options. One is to import these directly into my library. The other is to import them to a pending queue. So your options here depend upon your workflow. What Edgar does with this RSS feed or YouTube channel or podcast that you add here is he checks it every 24 hours. If a new post has been released within that time frame, he'll automatically pull it over into the library. If you want the ability to approve, reject, or edit the post first, your pending queue will be your best option. Now, the pending queue is also in the library. Your pending queue will be available here with a number over it if you have posts you need to approve. So when I go to pending, this is what the RSS feed brings over is the headline and the URL. From here, I can either approve the post into my library and it'll send out the next time the category is on the schedule. Or I can reject the post if this is curated content and I decide it's not great for my followers. Or if I wanted to add any other commentary as to why I'm sharing it, I can edit it to go ahead and do that. So visit your import tab in order to import those blog posts, RSS feeds, your YouTube channel and podcast so that Edgar can automatically create the status updates for you, saving you even more time.